What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's Chu here from Choose to Explore where I teach you guys how to see the world and save a dollar. So I'm leaving momentarily to go to Turks and Caicos and what I really wanted to know is what are the best restaurants to eat at Turks and Caicos. It's a super expensive island so I want to know not just how good the food is but also how much it costs and I'll spill all the tea here in this episode. So stay tuned if you guys want a food tour with us in Turks and Caicos. So next up on our food tour is Mr. Grouper's and this was our local recommendation. So let's try local cuisine here in Turks and Caicos. Let's check it out guys. So Mr. Grouper's is a really cool place because there's a lot of live music and attractions here. Actually on Thursdays on the island they have fish fry Thursdays and that usually ends around 10 o'clock. We are not here for that unfortunately but after 10 o'clock, they have an after party here at Mr. Grouper's from 10 to 12 in the morning. So definitely live to come here. Yes, and on Saturdays, every Saturday they have live music. So that's also a good time to come. So if you guys are here on the island for Thursday or Saturday, be sure to come down to Mr. Grouper's. Or it's actually Monday right now. It's very calm vibes and the food is delicious. So. Be sure to come and check it out here. So, I went to Mr. Grouper, obviously I had to go with the grouper. So I got the blackened grouper and it was great, a great white fish, lots of flavor. And what really surprised me the most about it was I got the mac and cheese and the fried plantains. Now, mac and cheese, I'm Jamaican and a lot of mac and cheese in the Caribbean is not good, but there was a lot of flavor in this mac and cheese. So I highly recommend it. I tried it. it, it was definitely delicious. And the fried plantains were good as well, but Honestly, you can't really go wrong with fried plantains, so it's always a win. Yes, and I have the curry shrimp, and if you're afraid of spice, this is a great dish for you because it's not too spicy at all. It's actually not spicy, but it's still very, very good. I really enjoyed my, di my dish, and I also got a side of rice and peas, and it was more of like a Creole kind of flavoring, and it was, it was so good. I would highly recommend you go, go there. All right, so next on our food tour is Aziza. And yesterday we actually made reservations to go to Aziza for New Year's Eve to watch the fireworks from here. But it actually was a $200 fixed course menu. So we decided not to do that. Wait, $200 per person. Yes, per person minimum. So yeah. just be careful if you're going on a holiday. They might try to get you with that. Yeah, and it's three of us. So it would have been $600. <laughs> for us to eat there for New Year's. So we decided not to do it and we actually made a reservation for the next day. Now, this place was recently where Drake was, a lot of the other celebrities were here, so I guess that it's supposed to be for a lot of big shots, but... I mean, we're big shots. We are big, big shots big as well. Shots. <laughs> um, but, so I wasn't really expecting too much from the food because it's really, people come here for the lounge. It's supposed to be a Mediterranean restaurant, right? Yes. We first started with the hummus. So, don't ask if the hummus is good. All I need y'all to do is look at this. It'll tell you enough. That right there says it all. <laughs> this used to be hummus, and that used to be pita. <laughs> and then we got our entrees, and I got the chicken breast with the mashed potatoes and the cucumber salad, and it was phenomenal. It was really seasoned well. Um, the mashed potatoes were really creamy, and I just realized that I think I love cucumbers because they were really, really good. <laughs> yes, and I got the spicy shrimp and that was delicious. It was actually very spicy, very flavorful, and I had a side of asparagus. So all that was really good. I enjoyed my meal. But the highlight of the show was... The Branzino that I had and they put it on fire like a flambe and it was just crazy. So, but it tasted really, really good. Um, it came with some what limes and tomatoes and roasted peppers. roasted peppers yeah lots of flavor um and i had it and i was really surprised at how much flavor that it had so i would definitely recommend checking out aziza okay so next up on the food tour we're headed to the con shack so let's go now this place is beautiful it is beachfront i mean you're literally on the beach when i sat down i actually sunk in because the <laughs> sand is so soft so it's definitely a cool place with beautiful decor you see the conch all over um, decorated all over the restaurant also i really love the pink decorations that are around the lights and it's a great family festive event as well so when you first walk in they ask you deck or beach so we chose to be right there on the beach 
What I will say about going to the beach after the sunset is it does get very windy and it does get very cold. So if you are gonna go at night, I would tell you to bring a blanket, bring another jacket because we were shivering on the beach. <laughs> but it's still really nice because you have the nice lights hanging up over you. So it has a nice vibe. And there are a lot of kids, there were a lot of birthdays. They do really well. So if you have a birthday, the Kai Shack is a great place to be. Um, so it's definitely a family friendly vibe and it's local cuisine as well. The Con Shack also has live music on Wednesdays and Sundays. So you guys can come here for alternate days with Mr. Grouper as well. And now onto the food. So I went to the Conch Shack to get conch. Now my mother-in-law wanted to get the lobster, but the lobster was $45 and the conch was in the 20 or so, some odd range. What the uh, waiter actually told us is we should look into getting the pirate's pot. Now the pirate's pot is $50 for two people and it comes in this beautiful Dutch oven. So inside the pot there's shrimp, lobster, conch, vegetables, and this fantastic ginger soy broth. Now between the two of us, we could not even put half of it down. So I would recommend you guys go with a couple of people, more than a couple, maybe three or four people to really get down in this pepper, the pirate's pot. It also comes with two sides. So we got the peas and rice and the fried plantain. And listen, we had a whole to go to go home with the whole pirate's pot. So I would highly recommend going to Conch Shack and sharing this amongst family. And I had the curry shrimp, and it was definitely a delicious, delicious meal. It was spicier than the curry shrimp at Mr. Grouper's, but still not, not too spicy. But if you do want it spicier, they have hot pepper sauce on all of the tables, so you can do what you need to do. So along with my pirate's pot, I had the rum punch, which was a lot stronger than Dream the, tour. the Keiko's Dream Tour. So that we had rum punch all day, which was wonderful. But at um, the Conch Shack, it was strong. So I just had my one drink. I don't think I finished it, but it was still very good. It was just stronger. <laughs> Listen, if you're gonna pay for the cocktail, you gotta enjoy the cocktail, so. If you remember me from Florida, <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> She's not doing it. But uh, I de highly recommend great local cuisine right here at the Conch Shack. So at Sapelu Beach, you can actually order food from your beach chair and they'll deliver it right to you. We ordered from Chalky's and I got the margarita pizza, the conch soup, conch chowder, and also the fried lobster, coconut lobster. So let's see. So we just got the Coco Van, which is on the same property as Coco Bistro, which is another restaurant. And Coco Van is more of a food truck. And today I ordered the mac and cheese bites. We also got the churros and the cucumber and ginger juice so let's check it out so I'm loving Coco Van it's like a nice little Zen spot I, I, I'm feeling really relaxed with my with my cucumber juice and I, I'm just loving the vibe it's just nice music in the background not too busy it's busy outside on the street but in here it's like our own little quiet zenful peaceful area <laughs> all the above yeah my churro is fabulous. It's crispy on the outside, nice and chewy on the inside, not too sweet. It's perfect with the ice cream and the chocolate on it, just the right sweetness. Oh my gosh, it's wonderful. Just tried the churro, and it's probably the best churro I've ever had in my life. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what they did to that churro, but come to Coco Van and try the churros for sure. Now the mac and cheese bites are so good. So the inside is really nice and cheesy, the outside is deliciously crunchy, and it comes with a nice spicy uh, mayo. So I really enjoy the spicy mayo. My mom doesn't really enjoy spiciness, but she really enjoyed the mac and cheese bites on their own. So with the sauce or without the sauce, you gotta it's order it. You gotta. So I also got this cucumber juice, and it's very refreshing. It also has a little kick with the ginger but it's a good one. All right, so we're here at the Patty Place, which is right up the street. It's actually right by the airport, and it was highly recommended to us. I'm Jamaican, so but every time I see beef patties, chicken patties, any kind of patties, I gotta come try it. So this place right there is Patty Place. Um, so they have chicken, they have beef, they have kalaloo, they have shrimp, they got the cocoa bread, and they even got main dishes too, but if it's a Patty Place, I'm gonna try. I gotta try the regular beef, pause, and the chicken. Um, also in here they have Devon's house ice cream so it's a lot of different flavors here as well so it's definitely a nice place even if you could walk from the airport it's probably about 25 minutes if you first land. So is the beef 
man. It's a nice flaky crust. Good beef, good flavor on this. Pause. But I wish that they had some spicy because this is good, but some heat on this would take it over the top. Highly recommend this place, yeah. So we ate at the deck, which is right on Grace Bay Beach, and it's a really nice ambiance. You're sitting right on the beach, looking out at the water, and at 6 p.m. they start having live music. So it was really nice, really nice environment to eat. Um, I had the vegetable spring rolls and a side of rice and peas. What did you have? I had the seafood Alfredo, which was a very good choice. I did want to try the snapper, but um, it was dark and it's a bony fish. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to see the bones. Yeah. So, and the waitress also advised that it's probably not a good idea at nighttime. So I went with Alfredo, which was a great choice. Yes, yeah, so we also had pina coladas and it was just a great way to end the evening yeah. at the deck. Mm -hmm.